Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Recently I've had quite a few people commenting and messaging me on Instagram saying Sen, my A levels slash IB exams have been cancelled, I'm starting med school this coming autumn and how can I prepare for my med school? Particularly a lot of students who are beginning at Cambridge have asked me this question and so I thought I'd make a quick video to highlight what you should do, what to expect and a few useful resources that you can use to help you prepare whilst you have all this free time. Now two things before I continue. Number one, one of the most important things you can do right now is relax. Once you begin Cambridge for the next six years of your life, it will be non-stop. You'll be probably twice as busy as you are now, whether it's traveling or doing work or you know socializing or having dinners. And so the time you have now, really do make sure to spend it with family and um, just chill. Also, before you do the things that I recommend here, make sure that you have finished off the last bits of your A-level syllabus or IB syllabus. It's really important you understand all of the topics in those things before you begin moving on to the Cambridge material. Think about it, other students in other years, they would have actually finished their exams and then they would have begun their Cambridge courses. Although you guys don't need to be at a level where you'll be examined on your material, it's still important to understand it and to know it reasonably well. With that aside, let's cut to it. So in this video I'm going to address three parts of the Cambridge first year course. Anatomy, also known as functional architecture of the body, fab, homeostasis, HOM, and biochemistry, also known as MIMS, which stands for Molecules and Medical Science. Um, so let's start off with fab, anatomy, and what I recommend that you can do to understand it. Now anatomy in first year at Cambridge involves a lot of spatial understanding, a lot of memorising, and being able to recall what you've memorised. You get a handbook when you begin Cambridge, which contains all the anatomy you need to know for the exams that you will be sitting whilst at Cambridge and probably a surgical exams as well. The anatomy learned at Cambridge is very, very detailed. But a few useful resources to introduce you to anatomy are instantanatomy.net. Now this website is actually made by a Cambridge professor and practically every Cambridge student uses this website to revise. There's also Ken Hub Anatomy and I think there's another one called Teach Me Anatomy. These other websites are really good anatomy websites where you can you know, learn through different diagrams. Loads of good YouTube tutorials as well. And also make sure to use Quizlet and Anki. A quick tip for Quizlet, for example, loads of Cambridge students use Quizlet to revise anatomy. And so all you need to do is go to Quizlet, it's such a fab for you know, the name of the course, and then maybe the part of the body section you want to revise, such as the lower limb. And most likely there'll be a Cambridge student who's made a Quizlet stack for that that you can use very easily. Um, I know some people find it useful to make their own flashcards, but you can do that once you get to Cambridge. And so for now, just to introduce yourself, just use the flashcards that someone else has made. Now, a really important thing to understand about anatomy at Cambridge is how it's taught. It's taught section by section. So you do upper limb first, then you do lower limb, I think, then you do the thorax, then the abdomen. You do those things, but maybe the order's a bit different. So when you learn and introduce yourself to anatomy, make sure you introduce yourself section by section and also when you look through each section try and split it up into the bones in each section the muscles in each section the circulation in each section and the nerves in each section sort of really split it apart into the individual components because again that's how you learn it at Cambridge again don't stress about trying to memorize all of it now I think a really useful thing that you could try and do now is actually um, get used to the Latin terminology used in anatomy and the key trick is to actually understand what that Latin word means. Um, so brevis means short. So sort of learn these different um, describing words in Latin so that when you do come across the anatomy terminology, you can sort of work out what different parts mean and what they could probably do as well. I don't have it with me right now. There's a really useful textbook called McMinn's Anatomy Atlas, actually another one, um, which is Gray's Anatomy for Students. If you want, order them now. You most probably will find them very useful for your actual Cambridge education. I'll put them in the link below through Amazon or something. And yes, those are super useful textbooks that you can flick through for anatomy in first year. There's also head and neck anatomy, but that's covered in the second year of your Cambridge course. And so all you need to worry about is upper limb, lower limb, abdomen, and thorax. Moving on to physiology. So physiology at Cambridge, you are taught both through lectures and practicals. I think you have two two hour practicals per week. Yes, you have, I think that's that. Anyway, you'll find out when you get there. I've forgotten now, that's a few years ago. And the main topics you go through in first year are circulation, 
the respiratory system and the nervous system and oh, no, the digestive system also right at the end so it's really useful for you to begin looking at those things i really recommend um sort of flicking through this textbook this is physiology by linda costanzo this is also the textbook they use at harvard medical school and this practically has got all the information if not more um for the cambridge physiology course this is actually recommended by the course organizers so it's worthwhile getting. I also really recommend watching a few YouTube tutorials. There are fantastic explanatory tutorials for homeostasis. And so for topics that you haven't come across yet at school, I'd suggest watching a YouTube tutorial first before delving into the deep technical stuff in the textbooks. And again, just to remind you, don't try and learn everything now. Just get an introduction into the different topics and into the different parts of the course. The next section is about biochemistry, also known as MIMS. Biochemistry in first year is a lot of rote learning, a lot of different um, you know, names of chemicals, enzymes, and the abbreviations of those enzymes, what they do, what their function is, how they interact with other enzymes. This rote learning you'll get done in first year, so don't worry about memorizing it all. The key topics that you should try and get your head around and consolidated are your understanding of respiration, both aerobic and anaerobic. A lot of you will have been introduced into the different um, sequences that happen let's say in aerobic respiration but in Cambridge for example the Krebs cycle you need to know every single molecule of the Krebs cycle so it might be worthwhile given that you're learning that sort of stuff now for you to look into the extra details you need to know all the intermediates of different reactions and although yes it is very finicky all the details you are examined on it and the Cambridge course is set up that way the scientific aspect of the Cambridge Medical course is super duper rigorous and so it's important that you understand this. So when you are doing this initial preparation over the summer, keep that in mind. There's going to be a lot of memorising and so get your techniques for memorisation in place. DNA replication and the repair of DNA is another big part of first year biochemistry and so it's very much worth your time to look into those things. The cell cycle is critical. Uh, and also how the cell cycle can be dysregulated, also a very important part of first year content. You will need to know all the cytokines and enzymes involved, so try and look into these things now if you want. Maybe go on Google Images even and search up for cell cycle cytokines and you'll get you know, loads of different groups of cytokines. Key tips for memorising stuff is, number one, grouping things. Uh, and learning things as groups. So if cytokines, you might want to learn cytokines that increase the cell cycle, you know, progression or cytokines that inhibit it. Also really useful is mnemonics. So when you've got a list of 10 different things to memorize, maybe use a mnemonic to try and make things easier, to try and help you recall things quicker. But also maybe think of like a storyline of how each different object in that sequence is involved in like a story in your head. Another really useful way of you trying to memorize this information. Like I said, you're going to memorise all of this when you begin the Cambridge course later on. This textbook, Biochemistry by Wittfurt and Pratt, is recommended um, by the course organisers for biochemistry. It's a pretty fat textbook and as you can see mine's pretty much in new condition, which suggests that I didn't really use it too much. It's super dense. But this does have more information than you need to know for the actual course, just as a disclaimer. I'd say this textbook is far more um, relevant in terms of how much information that it has to the physiology course than this textbook is for the biochemistry course. So concluding, don't stress too much. Hopefully I've given you an idea of what you could do to be in good stead for the year. I wish I'd done a bit more preparation because a lot of students when I got to Cambridge were on it from day one. Some people did burn out, but others were on it from day one in a sustainable manner and they were able to chomp through the material and memorize things much more easily than me because I was never used to memorizing so much information just in a rote manner. And so it took me a while to get into the flow of that. So there's one thing that you could try and improve on in this time period is the ability to memorize things, is space repetition and to try and actively recall things. Ali Abdel has made loads of videos about that, so go watch those. And it's a really useful tactic to get you really good marks at Cambridge and it works. Use a combination of textbooks, pre-made Quizlet, um, stacks, Google Images, Google and YouTube just to get yourself warmed up for the Cambridge course. I think I'll make a few more specific videos uh, in the future. This was a broad overview of what you can do to prepare but hopefully this video has been useful and I'll speak to you guys soon in the near future. Take care and stay safe. Bye bye.